But tonight, two teenagers and two adults are recovering after a shooting on the city's west side. Thank you for joining us this Friday afternoon. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. The shots fired last night near Penrod and Davison, and police say it was over a delivery. Since the start of the year, Detroit police say 20 minors have been shot in the city. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney spoke to neighbors and community activists who fear more violence this summer. Bullet holes now riddle one of the homes where four people were shot overnight. Police say just before 9 o'clock on Penrod and Davison, neighbors began shooting at each other after a disagreement over a delivery. Two 14-year-olds, a 31-year-old and a 32-year-old were shot and hospitalized. At least one person in serious condition after taking a bullet to the face. I was shocked because I was at work at the time, and when I got here, it was just a lot of polices, detectives and everything. We'll let nobody come by. It was all blocked off. Tiffany Wilson lives next door to the houses where it happened. Over a pizza, it's just crazy. It seemed like it's more to it. Officers say they recovered four guns and ring doorbell footage, which is now in investigators' hands. Police say at least 30 rounds were fired during last night's shooting, one of those rounds ending up right here in a neighbor's car. The incident now marks 20 shootings this year involving a minor. 14 have been non-fatal, 4 have caused death, and 2 were self-inflicted. Four sad. people were them shot. Is, them is kids. Them are little kids. You know, they should be, you know, preparing themselves for the future, not getting shot over some food. Community activists say it seems like victims are getting younger and younger. But I'm sick of coming over here. I'm sick of saying the same thing. We got to do better about policing ourselves. We got to do better about parents. We got to do better about raising our kids and about neighborhood. This is our community. City leaders say they're working hard to get guns out of the hands of young people committing violence across Detroit. When you see a 14 year old who is a victim of gun violence, uh, the question becomes, what is a 14 year old doing with a gun? How do they have access to this gun? City Councilman Fred Dural is the co-chair of the city's anti-gun violence task force. He says the city has been working to invest in more crime prevention services, resources and programs to cut down on violence. I think we are making a dent. It's something that we cannot solve overnight. Uh, I, it is uh, apparent that violence is not going to totally disappear. Uh, but can we make our streets safer? Absolutely. In Detroit, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. And moments ago, Detroit police telling us a fifth victim has been discovered in that shooting, an 18-year-old now recovering after being shot in the hand.